start, let's look at what we are going to learn today. For those of you who are yet to dip your toes into SaaS, we start by looking at a few notable SaaS companies. Hearing their story will help you understand the benefits of moving to this model and how it's different to what you're doing today. Next, we look at the heart and soul of SaaS companies and their culture and what it means to have a SaaS business culture. Although there are many factors that make SaaS companies successful, we will dive into the four that are common between them and the ones you should really focus on. And finally, we will explore the different ways in which the AWS Partner Network can help you accelerate your journey there. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Despite SaaS being a relatively new trend, a number of companies have been pioneering and refining this model of software delivery over the past two decades. So what do some of the successful ones look like? One company that is synonymous with SaaS is Salesforce.com. Known as the grandfather of CRM in the cloud, they set about solving fundamental issues of implementing, customizing, and delivering in-house CRM software. Prior to Salesforce.com, CRM projects were a time-consuming and risky proposition for enterprises, requiring a massive upfront investment before seeing a return. Since their founding in 1999, they have proven to enterprises all around the world that they can not only deliver industry-leading customer relationship management software, but avoid many of the traditional problems associated with implementing it. Over the past 10 years, Salesforce has seen a stellar rise in value, going from a $1 billion company in 2008 to an $8.4 billion company this year. Now let's take a look at a different company, a little closer to home for me, Atlassian. Founded in 2002, its two Aussie founders took a bet that software would be huge and disrupt every industry. Well, they were right. Not only did their intimate understanding of software developers lead them to build exceptional collaboration tools and services, but in the age of the internet, they built them for use online, allowing them to reach global markets easier. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Back in 2010, with 70% of their customers hosted on infrastructure, growing pains prompted them to think about multi-tenant architectures. They embarked on a two-year migration of their flagship products Jira and Confluence onto AWS while optimizing them for SaaS delivery. Today, this great Australian international company continues to go from strength to strength, with billings up an astounding 43% in the three-month period ending December 2017. So why SaaS? Salesforce.com and Atlassian have proven that organizations of all sizes, no matter which part of the world, prefer to have their software delivered to them as a service. In fact, according to Gartner, SaaS is set to become the dominant model for consuming new applications with 80% of organizations buying their software this way. The benefits of moving to SaaS are mutual for you as the software builder, as well as your customers. For customers, they get moving quicker with your software, without the hassles of running and managing it themselves. For you, as the software provider, it allows you to reach global markets with less operational costs. Another common attribute associated with successful SaaS companies is the rate of growth. Typically, Successful SaaS providers experience exceptional growth in their user base, between 20 and 40% year on year. When organizations make the decision to move to SaaS, they're no longer just expecting you to deliver exceptional software. They need you to look after all the heavy lifting that goes with it, including managing all the underlying infrastructure to keep it up and running. As a SaaS provider, this requires you to have a zero downtime mindset. This means you are responsible for high availability, resiliency, and disaster recovery for your application as well as the customer's data. Customers won't have a plan B. 
And this message is really something you don't want them to see. As software builders, you already understand the importance of security and versioning. If you're providing a hosted service, then you've had to think about management and monitoring, as well as service level agreements. But when delivering SaaS solutions, you'll need to raise the bar in all of those areas as the scale of customers increase. More than this, you'll need to adopt some new practices to keep your customers happy. Considering your software is delivered as a service, you need to incorporate metering capabilities to ensure customers only pay for what they use. When introducing new features, you will want to roll them out slowly into production to select customers by doing canary releases before making it available to your entire user base. And by minimising the risk of new features affecting the customer experience of your application, blue-green deployments allow you to confidently switch to a production-grade version quickly in case you discover problems. One thing that is not negotiable as a SaaS provider is DevOps. Having the same people who develop your application also operate it ensures that you stay agile to customers' needs and requests. Automating as many elements of the implementation, testing, deployment and monitoring allows you to spend more time focusing on developing better functionality for your customers rather than just keeping the lights on. More importantly, DevOps is a lifestyle that your entire company needs to live and breathe. This doesn't apply just to your software engineering team, but all your functions in the organization, like finance, marketing, and even sales. So if DevOps is a cultural imperative that your entire SaaS business runs on, what does this fundamentally mean for the service to your customers? Firstly, empowering your teams to be nimble and reactive allows you to respond to changing market dynamics in real time. Business models and expectations are changing faster than ever, so this agility in your team improves your ability to compete. Secondly, consciously spending less time thinking and more time building will allow you to test, fail fast and iterate more frequently. Incorporating mechanisms that allow you to collect customer feedback immediately and feeding those back into your product will ensure that you're getting closer to the things that your customers value the most. Thirdly, your pricing needs to be aligned to what customers are prepared to pay for. By making your software functionality payable only on what they consume, new customers are more likely to be attracted to your software over some other software that may be more rigid in its model. Similarly, building your software in a way that allows you to allocate resources from your cloud provider only when your customers use it ensures that you can burst and shrink your spend more closely to the customer demand. And finally, your operational capability must be impeccable. Waiting for problems to happen and responding to them is simply not good enough in a SaaS world. Putting proactive health monitoring in place and minimising the overhead through integrated automation helps streamline operations and maintain availability. These four attributes make good SaaS culture. Now let's explore the four secrets that make your SaaS application successful. Using SaaS applications should be a low-touch experience for your customers. If they have to interact with salespeople and pre-sales consultants or professional service specialists before they get started, they'll perceive the application to be difficult to use. Instead, customers should be able to learn about it through customer testimonies, simple videos and tutorials. Offering demos and free tier profiles incentivize those prospects for your application to explore and evaluate. Once they're ready to get going, there should be minimal friction between what you need to do to get them onboarded and them seeing value from your application. Once your customers reach the front door, effectively the sign up page, collecting just the right amount of information to get set up an account 
provisioning the underlying infrastructure and configuring tenant profiles should happen within a couple of mouse clicks. This is where automation is key. If they have to wait for things to happen manually, they're likely to lose interest and move on. If operating on-premises software is comparable to driving a car, then using a SaaS product should be like flying an Airbus. Although an aeroplane has to work in an extreme environment and is comprised of lots of moving parts inside, it is surprisingly easy to operate. That's because sensors keep an eye on the health of the components, telemetry keeps it stable, and intelligent systems make it operate safely, leaving the pilot to focus on navigating to where they need to go. Good SaaS companies employ similar methods for operating their software. Policies and alerts that anticipate bottlenecks provide proactive monitoring, while reactive automation addresses any problems in real time. This ensures that events like exhaustion of resources, of CPU, memory or storage don't impact the overall health of the system. Adding tenant context to all this monitoring provides situational awareness. By evaluating how the system is responding to user requests and troubleshooting any changes, this robust management practice ensures customers always get a consistent experience. In the real world of 24 by 7 by forever, everything fails all of the time. This is why SaaS applications require a more resilient and creative approach to maintaining system availability. By using the philosophy of designing for failure of every component, then nothing will fail. Similar to NASA's legendary Mars rover, which lasted 31 times longer than the designers anticipated, SaaS software needs to be designed for high coupling but loose dependencies of its components. This means supporting the idea of partial failure by limiting the number of synchronous dependencies. Let's take an example of an e-commerce application. Although the functionality of a products catalogue will be enhanced, through a separate promotions manager service, one could independently operate without the other in case of a failure. The same is true for a checkout service, which works with a recommendations engine. The user will still be able to accomplish the more important task of placing an order, even if they're not being shown other products to buy it with. By knowing which tasks are more important than others, you can best design software to keep the lights on. Finally, cost modelling is a critical part of staying in business for the long term. Since SaaS companies spend a disproportionate amount of their money on technology, you will want your ongoing costs to follow as close as possible the same curve as revenue from your customers. If you don't, you could find yourself needlessly spending precious capital as the number of customers grow. This means building cost models that mirror tenant requirements. Understanding your infrastructure and service costs is imperative. Then understanding how much is required per tenant and only allocating just enough of what they need ensures your costs are sustainable. Technologies like containers and serverless are a great way to accomplish this. Designing the architecture in a way that promotes pricing and packaging agility is also another long-term objective as a good SaaS company. For example, with a tiered subscription plan like this, which gives customers the ability to move up and down depending on their use, there should be no penalty in the way your software is built. If a customer reduces their plan, your software architecture should reduce its requirements. Conversely, the opposite is true if it goes up. The best way to accomplish all this is to capture and analyse all the costs at the tenant level. Simply tracking historical resource usage month over month is not an effective way to forecast future demand. Appreciate that your users operate differently, and so will the resources that they consume. These metrics are important considerations in the future design decisions to ensure you become more efficient over time. 
Now let's look at why you would build your SaaS application on AWS. The fact is the characteristics that make a great SaaS application also happen to be the same characteristics of the AWS platform. Starting with pricing, all the AWS services are pay only for what you use. In fact, many of our services offer a free tier which allow your customers to experiment with your software without having to pay anything until they start winding up their usage. All of the AWS services are pre-provisioned and available on demand. You never have to wait for servers or storage to be installed and configured before you can start using them. This allows you to be incredibly responsive to your customers' changing needs and deliver what they need when they need it. The AWS platform is inherently built using shared infrastructure to provide high degree of scalability. The redundancy and loose coupling dependency between resources also provides exceptional durability of your application. More importantly, AWS's shared responsibility model, whereby we take care of security of the cloud and you take care of the security in the cloud, is an ideal foundation to maintain a secure multi-tenancy environment. Finally, elasticity ensures that you only pay for the resources that you use. Using the console or command line interface, resources are spun up for use instantly, or by using the software development kit, you can programmatically allocate those resources within your application logic when you need them. Likewise, when your customers don't need them anymore, you can quickly deprovision them and stop paying for them. It's all these characteristics that make the AWS cloud very different to application hosting. As the most popular and mature cloud platform on the market today, AWS has a very broad ecosystem of independent software vendors and SaaS providers using AWS to deliver their software as a service. With 55 availability zones within 18 geographic regions around the world, one of the reasons many of our customers and partners choose to work with AWS is that it helps them go global and to deliver services anywhere. Another benefit of having such a rich set of software providers on the AWS platform is that you can leverage them in to integrate into your own software. As we discussed during today's session, Monitoring and metering are essential elements of delivering a SaaS offering. You may also need to provide advanced authentication and analytics features for your customers. Rather than building these things yourself, partnering with some of the providers who offer specialist capabilities in these spaces and who also leverage the AWS platform helps deliver this functionality to your software much faster. You've heard a lot today about the tenants that make a successful SaaS company over time. But you still may be wondering, where do I start? AWS has resources and tools for you at every stage of your product journey, from evaluating the right delivery model for your product, to building and optimizing your product, to growing and reaching more customers. On the SaaS on AWS landing page, you'll get free access to success stories from other companies, learn interesting patterns and best practices by reading blogs and white papers. You can even evaluate your readiness with our checklist and sign up for technical workshops that we have running in cities around the world to get hands on with our experts. Once you're ready to move your application, get a head start with AWS Quick Starts. Built by AWS solution architects and partners, AWS Quick Starts help you deploy popular solutions on AWS with literally a single click and in less than an hour. Using AWS practices for security and high availability, they help you build, test and deliver a production ready environment in just a few simple steps. The AWS Quick Start implements a high availability solution for identity and isolation in multi-tenant software such as software as a service environments, using Amazon Cognito as the identity provider. Go to this URL for more details on how it works and to launch it into your AWS account. As APN partners, AWS wants you to succeed 
as a SaaS provider in your market. This is why we've created a program especially for you to help you on every step of the way. While building your application, we offer online training, AWS accreditations, discounts on our instructor-led training courses, and technical content to get you going. When you're ready to market your solution, we provide marketing templates and tools to spread the word. Also funding for proof of concepts and credits to onboard your new customers. And when you're ready to accelerate, we invest in dedicated marketing development funds, introduce you to AWS sales resources and invest in lead generation campaigns. For more details on this program, ask to speak to a partner development representative. For customers, often finding solution providers that have the ability to deliver their requirements is often the first stumbling block. The AWS Competency Program is designed to highlight APN partners who have demonstrated technical proficiency and proven customer success in specialised solution areas. Once you've gained traction with customers and proven your proficiency in SaaS, you're encouraged to apply for the SaaS Competency Program to validate to other prospective customers that you can deliver with excellence. To help organizations find you, AWS has created the Partner Solutions Finder. Through an online portal, we help organizations discover AWS partners that have valuable skill sets or AWS competencies by searching by use case, industry, product, or location. By connecting you with them, we help you find warm leads to accelerate your growth. Please visit the URL for more information on how to apply for the SAS competency. We've covered a lot of ground during this session, so let's summarize some of the key points. We learned from successful SAS companies that DevOps is not a sport played occasionally, but a lifestyle. By adopting a fail fast approach and finding mechanisms, to receive customer feedback in real time, your product strategy will develop in the right direction. Take pride in your ability to pivot and react. Expect business models to be fluid and drive loyalty through rapid responses, being prepared to constantly evolve your application. Through the four secrets of successful applications, we learn that technology and processes are enablers for SaaS. Agility must be baked in at the outset of architecture design, right through to deployment. Migration must be constant and painless for customers. And having a zero tolerance for any notion of downtime is a must. And the ability to package offerings that align with emerging tenant profiles ensures you stay on top of your capacity.